What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the top four Bitcoin wallets that you can use completely anonymously. They don't need any KYC procedures, none of that. KYC means know your customer. It's when companies ask you for your ID, your uh, proof of address and a bunch of other details. Now, this is very important when it comes to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is uh, widely used for laundering money, for criminal activities, etc. But these are ways you can bypass those things. Not really bypass, but you just don't need to do that. So we're going to be going through one by one of each um, different wallet. Now, these are in no specific order. Please keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to be ordering them. They're, they're in an order, but they're not in an order, guys. I'm going to be ordering them by my favorite, but... Um, you guys uh, need to know that these aren't ordered from ratings, so I'm not saying that one's better than the other just by their order. This is just my personal preferences and based on what I've used. Now, the first wallet that I'm going to recommend to everyone is the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. Now, this wallet is insane, guys. I've been using it for years. Um, well, not years. I've been using it for like a year now. Uh, it's really, 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 really good, guys, honestly. Uh, personally, I use the portable version on my external hard drive so that, you know, it's portable, guys, um, and it works perfectly fine. However, with these wallets, please keep in mind, guys, with all of these wallets, you cannot buy crypto, guys. Buying crypto requires KYC. So, these are just for storing, sending, etc., uh, and receiving. You know, you're not going to be able to buy crypto with these. If you want to buy crypto, you're going to have to use another exchange that may allow you to or use someone that may allow you to. I've got another video on my channel if you guys want to go check that out. Um, also, before we get into the rest, go check out my fucking Twitter, guys. Don't fuck around, okay? Now, um, with Electrum, personally, I think if you're a beginner, if you're an expert, whatever the hell you are, Electrum is the way to go, okay? It's, it's insane. Let you customize how much fees you pay and even more, guys. Honestly, I cannot stress how good this wallet is. I recommend it for every single person, guys. The next one is Exodus. Now, once again, I've used Exodus. I don't like this wallet at all. It's the best looking wallet I've ever seen in my life, hands down. Um, it lets you store every single, not every single, but it's, I don't know if it lets you store every single, but it lets you store a shit ton of altcoins as well and other cryptocurrencies. Um, so you guys can definitely go and check that out. If you do want to store different kinds of crypto as well, um, if you want to just be a really diverse person, you know, let, you know, Exodus is the way to go. However, they do not allow you to customize your fees. So if the Bitcoin fees are looking like $8 to $9, you're going to be paying $8 or $9 per transaction, realistically, guys. And I have heard the fees are disturbing on this wallet, guys. Like, honestly, like, so I, I, I'm not too sure, guys. Like, I've heard they take their own fees out for service fees and shit. With Electrum, they don't. I don't believe they do, at least, because it's an open source wallet. I don't believe this is open source. Um, so that's the main reason actually I like Electrum a lot as well because it's open source and I, if you guys know me I'm, I'm an open source enthusiast guys so um, yeah Electrum if you don't want to use Electrum or you don't have the design of Electrum or you just generally don't want to use Electrum Exodus is, is, is a pretty good option for you guys another another ex excellent option hands down probably one of the best you can, wallet, Bitcoin wallets you can use is Trezor. Now Trezor is an actual hardware wallet, so it's an actual device that is a real Bitcoin wallet. Now because Trezor is not, um, you know, set letting you buy or sell Bitcoin, um, they're not going to be asking you for KYC or anything, as do none of the wallets I'm going to be showing you guys. So um, you can use it completely anonymously. Um, the devices are pretty good. I've never used it before, guys. I don't plan to use Trezor. I plan to stick with Electro. Um, as you guys can see, they're audited by security researchers, which is very, very good. This is basically where companies hire security enthusiasts and general professionals at what they do to, to, to test their network, test their services, test all of their shit to make sure it's all good, okay? And um, they obviously have good customer support and stuff. With other wallets, they don't really have customer support and whatnot because they're not really um, wallets that are from companies. They're just... If that makes sense, they're, they're not, they're not like institutions and they're not like, they're not, they don't really require support. A lot of them use things like Reddit or stuff for support for, for so anyone can really help people so that it's not, they don't have their own paid team because they're obviously not paid service. With Trezor, they are a bit expensive because Trezor is not free to use guys. 
I should have probably said that at the beginning. I forgot to say that. Trezor is not free to use. Um, it's like $50, $60. Um, we're going to look at the shop really quickly so you guys can have a look. Um, so, yeah, about 178 yeah, 50 euro C. Um, I think that's a casing, actually. Um, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, you know, this is, this is quite expensive, but it's quite good for security, guys. Next up, we've got Ledger now. Guys, 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 guys. Ledger is a fucking joke, okay? Personally, they got hacked, guys. All the information was leaked. It was a fucking insane little period. We're not gonna do it, I'm gonna talk too much about that, but and I don't think it had anything to actually do with the initial wallet. Actually, I think it does because people purchased wallets and shipping information was leaked. So you guys, I I put this last for a reason. I'm hoping you guys don't get reached this part of the video. If you did, be very, very, very sketched when you're when you're using this, okay? Don't don't be stupid, okay? Um I was gonna buy one of these actually because this this is just a really it's a really good looking wallet, but you know not anymore. Um, definitely, if I do purchase this, I'm going to be doing it under a completely different identity. I'm not going to be risking it with 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 these folks. Um, but obviously, you guys will have to take your own risks with with Ledger. But Ledger is another hardware wallet. It does cost about the same amount as Trezor, really. Um, Personally, Ledger is better than Trezor in, t in regards to functionality and shit, in my opinion. But, 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 if you guys are looking for hardware, Trezor is the one. Trezor has has, has always been on top, really, guys. Um, when it comes to hardware wallets, and, and I do recommend them thoroughly. But guys, this looks like it's gonna be the end of the video. So if you guys did enjoy, drop a fucking like. Follow my tour, guys. I'm not going to ask you guys again, okay, so subscribe to all of that fucking shit, okay, I want you guys to do one thing for me, okay, one thing for me, if you have a question, don't comment, don't fucking comment, message me on one of my social medias, guys, because I'm not going to fucking reply to your comments, and if I do reply by some miracle, guys, it likely will be a reply saying contact me on one of my social medias, so contact me on one of my social medias, and we will, we will, I will help you guys there, okay, but other than that, I appreciate your time. Fuck you, actually. I don't appreciate your time. I'm doing this for free. Fuck you, mean. Bye-bye, guys.